Hey guys, this is Podcast 8.5. We're going to start looking at different kinds of genetic crosses that we can do, and we're going to take uh, this podcast, 8.5, to look at sex link traits and incomplete dominance. Um, now, I've already kind of covered sex link traits in class already, so this is more of a review for some of you, but uh, we know that men or males have this XY chromosome pair, and that women have an XX chromosome pair. And so we're looking at traits that are associated with either the X or the Y in the male or the female. And we're going to be taking a look at colorblindness uh, because it's a sex-linked recessive trait, so it doesn't show up too often on the X chromosome. Uh, and part of the, the issue with colorblindness is that 50% more men are colorblind than the women because we only have one X chromosome here. Women have two. They need two of this recessive trait to show up. But men, we've only got the one, so if we get stuck with it, then we're going to be colorblind. Uh, so we're going to show that in a cross down here on the bottom in just a second. Uh, but what we can do across is we can do one between a normal male and a carrier female. And a carrier is an individual that has a recessive allele but it doesn't show the trait. So a carrier woman uh, is going to be a female. So if we put our normal male on top, let me scroll the page down here. So we have a normal male on top, so normal X, normal Y. And our woman, or our female, is going to be over here on the left. And so what we do when we're showing these traits is that sex link traits are shown as a superscript. So this is the, the allele on the gene. So if it is a carrier female, this woman is going to have a capital C superscript here to show that she has one of these colorblindness traits. Now, in order to show colorblindness in women, both of these X's, both of these chromosomes, has to have that recessive trait on it because you need two recessive to show it. But this, again, this man is normal, does not have that superscript C. So go ahead and do your cross. So we've got an XC, X here in this first box, XCY. And then a normal XX and a normal XY. So on the left, we have the women or the females. Okay, XX again. And on the right, we have the men. Notice this C, this colorblind trait, carries into the offspring. So this first, this top left box right here, this daughter is going to be a carrier because she has a capital C. She's got the sex linked recessive trait here on her genes. This girl is going to be normal. She does not have that recessive trait showing up. This man up here in the top right, he is going to be colorblind because of the recessive chromosome or the recessive allele that shows up. And this boy down here on the bottom will also be normal. Okay, so these traits, they get passed along the sex chromosomes. It's totally random how it happens. Um, another way to, to take a look at it is let me clear some space here to show I wasn't planning on showing this but I think it'll help if we do another cross oops wow that was terrible let me redraw that real quick okay so we've got our square and we're gonna cross a carrier female with a colorblind male so perform your cross so XC XC X XC, XC, Y, X, Y. So our traits change a little bit. So now we've got a colorblind female up here in this top right box, right? Because she's got two of those uh, recessive chromosomes. We also have a carrier female because she gets the carrier X from the man. And we have a colorblind boy. Uh, so your traits can change based on whether or not you're a carrier. And one way to check yourself is if you Google, this is said the Ishihara, he's a Japanese guy, the Ishihara colorblindness test, or you can use a link on the website to test yourself if you haven't done it before. And check your parents and we can figure out what your genotype is. Pretty cool. The last thing, incomplete dominance. And this is traits, or these are traits in which neither allele is dominant nor recessive. So up to this point, we've been looking at traits that are either dominant or recessive. And when uh, flowers are a great example of this, uh, we can have red flowers for this example, or we can have white flowers. And we're going to use homozygous red, so capital R, capital R. And for incomplete dominance, 
your alleles change a little bit. So our whites are actually going to be capital W, capital W. So let's do a cross between a homozygous red and a homozygous white. So we've got a capital R, capital R, capital W, capital W. And what we end up with are four flowers with this R, W, heterozygous genotype. And this shows up, so if the one parent was white, the other parent was red, this shows up as pink. So RW equals pink. So these alleles, or these traits, mix together. That's incomplete dominance. One is not overpowering the other. Uh, you can then go ahead and do a cross between two pink flowers, and what you should get are reds and whites, uh, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, again, very, very simple and base in concept. Um, you do not need to be able to look at a trait and tell me if it's incomplete or if it's just a regular, um, you know, dominant recessive allele, I will tell you which one to look for. So don't stress about that. Uh, but you do need to recognize that when you have incomplete dominance, okay, neither one is dominant. There is no dominant. There is no recessive. They just mix together. And that sex link traits um, combine or they, the, the trait will be linked to the X or the Y chromosome.